morning, everyone. Uh, w welcome to A Street Park. Give yourselves a round of applause, Four Point. It's an extraordinary park, uh, and it was built through extraordinary partnerships. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the uh, 100 Acres Improvement Association, who uh, manages and maintains this park. If you could give them a round of applause. Anyone who experiences this space knows that uh, it, it receives an extraordinary amount of maintenance. It's uh, a lot of hard work that, that goes into that, and we're very, very, very grateful for the partnership. This park was built as part of a community benefits package and was built uh, by CV Properties. Uh, we're very honored uh, today to be uh, joined by uh, Mr. Eli Long, who's uh, here representing CV Properties. Uh, unfortunately, um, Dick Galvin was going to be here, but uh, he had to attend a funeral this morning, so he wasn't able to attend. Um, so I'd like to extend our, our, our condolences uh, to Mr. Galvin there. Um, also, at, at this time, if we could just take a, a, a moment of silence to acknowledge the, the victims of Manchester. Thank you very much for that. Uh, but once again, uh, this is just an extraordinary partnership in the in the truest in the truest sense of the word. Um, we, we have great opportunities in the park in the park system to add space. What we don't always have is great opportunities to make sure that those spaces are cared for in perpetuity. Um, the community around this park, uh, especially the Four Point community, the Four Point. Uh, neighborhood Association, of course, uh, we're joined here by Sarah McCammon and others representing uh, Four Point Neighborhood Association. They, they really fought to make sure that this space was built and built so that it was very reflective and inclusive for the community, but then also taken care of. And so we're very, very grateful for the community for all the advocacy they did around this park. And again, this park is extraordinarily well taken care of. Uh, here representing CV Properties is Mr. Eli Long. Please give him a warm A Street Park welcome. Thanks, Eli. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, thank you all for coming out today. I'll be very brief. Um, we are extremely pleased that we were able to take on this project as part of the other developments that you see around here and be able to give something back to the city of Boston. We like to think of our projects as platforms to inject new life and vitality into the city wherever we happen to be able to step foot and um, we're just thrilled that this is the first of what should be more parks to come in the uh, 100 acres and thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much Eli. Um, once again uh, partnerships are important in the city and it's important for the, the parks department to have a great partnership in the mayor. Um, the mayor wants to add open space to the city, and the mayor wants to invest in our existing open space in the city. We're very grateful for that. And in fact, in the last three years, the mayor has actually increased the parks department budget every year he's been in office. Ladies and gentlemen, please a warm four point welcome for the mayor of Boston, Martin J. Walsh. Thank you very much, Chris. And um, I want to just, first of all, just say to Chris, thank you for the great work that Chris does and the Parks Department does in our parks around the city of Boston. Um, you know, we're, we're blessed in our city. I think, I think that we have probably one of the best Parks Departments in the country. And, and one of our goals was to make sure that uh, we have the greatest park system in the country. And if you look at numbers, we're, we're usually, depending on what you measure a park with, we're number one, number two, or number three in different areas. Uh, but we have a goal to, to get um, every Boston resident within 10 minutes of walking to a park in their neighborhoods. And I think we're 90%, 95% there in the city. So we're going to continue to move forward on our parks. We've also made uh, about almost a $300 million investment in our parks department over the last three and a half years here in the city of Boston. And that's building new parks and renovating parks. And we're going to continue to do that. So it's great to be here today at A Street Park. And I want to thank all the residents who came out for Love Your Block last week and helped clean this park. So thank you uh, to all the residents that were part of that. And we're joined today by, by many uh, people. I know that this is our first time doing a coffee in the park here. So the, 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 the idea behind this park is, is that we come out, uh, we bring out city departments, we talk a little bit. We don't do a question and answer, but we have every department just about covered here. 
So I want to start with just in, in introducing our elected officials, and I'm going to have Michael Flaherty come up here and say a couple words in a minute, but City Council Michael Flaherty, who I think hung in this park long before it was a park. Um, City Councilor Nisa Sabi George had to run, but she was here, so thank you, Councilor Nisa Sabi George. We have, um, as I look around, we have Gina Fandaka, Commissioner of Transportation, with us today. We have Mike Grohl uh, from Public Works with us today. We have Bill Christopher, Buddy Christopher from Inspectional Services today with us today. We have Devin Quirk from uh, Department of Enabled Development, Housing, if you have any housing issues. We have Austin Blackman from the Environment. Uh, we have uh, Lara Morita from the Boston Redevelop um, not the Boston Planning and Development Agency. Uh, I got that right, right? Uh, Mike Saprizio from BCYF. Uh, Joe Finn, the Boston Fire Commissioner, is with us today. Um, we have uh, every department with us. So if you have questions about anything, somebody will be here to answer it. Um, let me just, and also in the budget, in the 2018 budget, some of the things that we're working on, and I was asked a couple couple questions. So we're reconstructing Sumner Street from Four Point Channel to the Boston Wharf, a $7.4 million city and state. We're doing roadways, we're doing sidewalks, we're doing lights, and we're doing bike lanes. So that project is happening in 2000, in this, the end of this year into next year. Um, we have a $1.5 million park to, to do our planning of the Northern Avenue Bridge. Uh, I don't have an official date for that. Michael Denny will probably go after me, but I'd love to see a shovel in the ground or a crane in the air or something in the, around that bridge by 2018. So I know that we had done the design phase, so we're looking at how do we move that bridge forward. Um, looking at kind of a, a bridge that can be both pedestrian and in a little bit for automobiles and the reason i say that is that i know a lot of people in the neighborhood might want to just pedestrian but your traffic here on the street we need to alleviate the traffic and the way we alleviate the traffic is by giving cars the ability to get off of certain areas so i think we'd have to look at that martin's park which we're excited about breaking ground on uh down the street uh, it's going to be a fully 100 percent inclusive park the total package of that is a 13 million dollar park a uh, 13 million dollar price tag uh, a million and a half is in this year's budget from the city 5.5 from state and donations. So we're on, we have the money. We, we, the last bit of money we're raising now is for the endowment, and we are moving forward on that park. We're excited about that. Uh, in the budget is a $15 million renovation to the Boston Center of Youth and Families, the Curly Center, the L, uh, working on design of that right now, so we'll be moving forward on that. A $2 million renovation that's underway right now, Medal of Honor Park and Lee Playgrounds up on Broadway. Uh, we, if you've noticed, there's a fence around it. We're doing all the walkways over. Uh, that park is the home to the first Vietnam Memorial in the United States of America and also Medal of Honor Park, so we're working on that. We're developing a, a Moakley, Moakley Park master plan, uh, certainly looking at uh, Moakley Park and how do we, we're going to be making a large investment in that in the years to come. Uh, when I say years to come, next couple of years here, it's a park that hasn't really been designed, hasn't been touched in a long time, so again, working on that. Um, also, we're putting a $100,000 donation into uh, the South Boston Library of a renovation, and we're going to be doing something long-term later on on that. And then also today, um, we're excited that the Parks and Recreation Department will accept, formally accept this park here today. So we look forward to working with all of the neighbors down here. I want to thank you for what you do every single day. Um, and please, take advantage of, of the folks that are here uh, today. Um, and talk to them from the city if you have any questions on people. And thank you for your patience. Um, I know that this this neighbor has been developed has been been developing for a long time. It's gone through a lot of different transformations. Those of you that are longtime residents, I'm glad you survived. Those of you new residents, we want to welcome you to the neighborhood. And without further ado, I'm going to ask. Um, we're also joined by State Representative. Now, if we can do something about the airport. It's a federal issue and a state issue. We're going to bring Nick Collins up here in a minute to talk about the airplane. Um, there's not much we can do about the airplanes. Uh, it shows growth, I suppose. But uh, I'm going to ask uh, City Council Michael Ferry to come up, and then we're going to ask uh, State Representative Nick Collins if he'd like to come up and say a couple words. Thank you, Mayor. Um, obviously a great day to be here. Welcome to South Boston. Uh, remember being down here as a kid with the uh, old dilapidated buildings and the abandoned uh, stolen cars. Uh, so my grandmother uh, and my father and his brothers and sisters uh, grew up uh, just behind this building here. So we'd uh, venture over here, play Relievio and things like that. But uh, also had a front row seat during the 100 acre proposal. It was in a meeting when they put all the designs of all these big buildings down here and 
uh, the late Jimmy Kelly uh, was in a meeting and he literally flipped the model over, smashed into a thousand pieces and said, I want to make sure that we have a third open space, a third residential and a third for, for businesses like Gillette and GE. And uh, this is a culmination of that. So uh, I'm here today on behalf of all the South Boston elected officials, on behalf of the community as you're at large council, but thinking about Jimmy Kelly uh, because the role that he played in securing this location to make sure that it was a park and glad to see that the city will now be maintaining it uh, and give everyone peace and comfort that our commissioner and his team uh, will look after this place and make sure that the maintenance and the upgrades uh, are done on a regular basis. Uh, and also for the residents that are here, take advantage of today. Uh, you have a tremendous amount of brain power uh, and influence uh, surrounding you with our commissioners and our deputies and department heads. So any issue uh, that's impacting you or your community or maybe it's a personal issue, uh, take advantage of this coffee hour to have a conversation with uh, the police department, the transportation department, the BRA, our inspectional service department, and so many others, our parks, our schools, our community centers. Uh, engage them, let them know what's going on, what your concerns are, and maybe share with them some thoughts and maybe a couple good ideas uh, that we could implement uh, to make our city better. So uh, on behalf of uh, my colleagues in the city council, would like to thank you all for, for, uh, for this and make sure that you take care of the park and let us know if things are going on down here that, uh, that are not uh, fitting for for this park. Uh, that's our job as well. And so without further ado, I'm going to introduce my colleague in government. I know that there's also two candidates here. I see uh, my dear friend Ed Flynn is here, and I also see Mike Kelly is here, two candidates for, for District 2 City Council. So welcome uh, to both of them. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce our State Representative, State Representative Nick Collins. Uh, good, good morning, everyone. Um, it's great to be here. I know this effort was uh, an effort that took a, a lot of time, as Council Clarity had mentioned, um, as part of a planning process. And, and you know what, what's great about Mayor Walsh and his team is that they they are really about uh, community-driven development on projects like this. And we need to see more green space here in Four Point and the waterfront. And I'm committed to working with the administration and the community on that. Um, not just here, but on the waterfront in Seaport Square and other places. Um, but you know, I'm just here to, to say uh, thanks to the uh, to the mayor and to the community for um, making this place so special. We got a lot of work to do. I'm committed to doing that work with you, and I'm honored to represent you in the House of Representatives. Thanks. I also want to just uh, acknowledge uh, Captain Boyle from C6 and the community service offices. Thank you for the great work you do uh, in, in the neighborhoods for us. Commissioner Finn is here. I saw I got Commissioner Finn. Now, I'd like, I know there's not many kids here, but we're going to pull the sign down. So I want some kids up here if they want to help us out here uh, because the park isn't for us adults, it's for the kids and the dogs. So I'm. Hey, yo, come here. Do you want to come join us for the, the sign up, Billy? Come on over. All right. All right, folks, here we go. On the count of three, we're going to officially unveil this as a Boston Public Park. You ready? One, two, three.